Yeah, hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to discuss designing and building your own stairs. We spoke previously about the type of stairs that exist and what the various types of stairs are and all that. Today we are going to talk about how to build your own stairs. To build your stairs, you are going to have to design your stairs. We are going to use an easily available stair calculator that we got off the internet and that is pretty easy. So the stair that you are seeing here is what we are going to try to build and uh, we are going to begin by doing the the calculations for the stairs but before we do that we're going to ask you to subscribe to the videos please give the videos a thumbs up too so that the algorithm knows that you did like it okay and if you want to get more of our content hit the notification bell as well thank you very much here we have what we are going to call our total rise and our total rise is going to be 114 inches target step height is seven inches and our tread thickness is going to be, I think we're going to either keep that at one inch. Now the tread depth, we are going to keep that at 10.25 inches. So those are the targets. Now we're going to hit calculate. Now when we hit calculate, we go, we get the results down the bottom here. The total number of risers is going to be 16. Number steps on the stringer itself going to be 15 and the height of the first step is going to be six and one eight height of the typical step is going to be seven and one eight and the stringer position is going to be eight and one eight the total run is going to be 153.75 and the stringer length is going to be 186 our stair rail angle is going to be 34.8 and this is the visual result of that calculation this is your first stair height and that as we said is six and one eight now that is of course minus the, the the tread thickness now and the typical riser height is seven and one eight and of course that includes the tread thickness now the total length of the stringer as we the according to this is 153 and three quarter and let us not forget that the stringer is going to be around four inches thick. And the distance between the landing and the last or the top step is what is called the stringer position or stringer placement. So that is what's called the finished height. So now that we know the dimension of our stairs, we know what part of the room we are going to place it in, um, how far out into the room it is going to extend, and we know whether or not we are going to put a landing in it or not. In this case, we are making a straight stairs, so there will be no landing. So the only question now is, how do we construct it? Typically, stairs in small houses are constructed up against a wall, at least one wall. Okay, so now you got your placement done, calculations for your stairs done. The only thing that's left is for you to decide what type of stairs you're going to make. Now there are two kinds of concrete stairs that are very popular. One is a little bit fancy. Some people call it a zigzag stairs. It's also sometimes called a folded stair or a chain stair. That's a very complicated sort of stairs. It requires very very specific calculations. It also requires extremely high levels of skill. So we are not going to touch on that one. We are going to construct our basic stairs. What we are going to construct now is going to be called a normal staircase. With a normal staircase, what's called a waste slab will take the place of what would normally be your stringer. The waste slab is what the steps sit on top of. The waste slab is usually around four inches, four or five inches thick. Okay, so you have your calculations all done. You have the size of your risers, you have the size of your treads, you have the length of your stringer. The only thing you need now is to decide where your stringer placement is going to be. This is very, very easy. You don't even need any calculations for it, even though you can calculate it. You can measure downwards from the top of your landing. And in our case, we would measure eight and one 
eight inches down from the top of our landing and that would give us your stringer placement but let us say that you're having trouble with doing that or you don't have anything to measure it against or something like that blah 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 there's an easier way of doing it measure your total run then add one more tread length to that total run mark that length out from the vertical position of the landing now draw a straight line from the floor where your total run plus the one tread length ends and draw that straight line to directly to the edge of your landing at the top of where the stairs would end now measure one riser height from the top of your landing downwards draw a parallel line along the original line that goes from your landing to the floor and that will be the thickness of your steps so now you have what your steps are going to look like where and where on the floor your steps are going to start now after that it's just a matter of deciding how thick you want the waist slab or your stringer to be so now all that is left is for you to just build your box along those dimensions that you have measured brace them properly and put your reinforcement inside of it now remember your reinforcement is going to be just as if you are doing a slab roof you are going to lay your steel horizontally and vertically and you are going to tie them together leaving a one inch space between the bottom of the concrete and of course the steel is going to be in the bottom of your slab 5 8 rebar is what is usually used and you are going to do the usual six inch grid pattern all that is left now is for you to simply just construct your box using the measurements that you have and you mix your high strength concrete and pour it in the thing about pouring stairs is that you have to use properly mixed concrete and preferably the concrete should be of a very consistent nature so I think once you have gotten all of that have done your boxing your bracing and all of that that is basically it you know it is really not as hard as it seems it's really not as hard as it looks and uh, to be honest anybody can do it as long as you follow these instructions uh, as closely as I have given them to you you should be okay you know so look as we said we are not going to do anything fancy we're just trying to get you to understand what it takes to build your own stairs and uh, you may even be able to look at what your builder is doing if you have a builder and uh, follow along so that if there's something that is inconsistent with what you want what you need or what you think should be done you can ask all the questions that you need to do so thanks for watching guys and do not forget to like and subscribe to the video and as usual you all have a great day